Man, what's going on? Y'all tuning in to Taco Talk TV, and we here to talk about Los Angeles, man. Yeah. Back at it again. It's Young Taco from Taco Talk TV, man. We about to knock out another interview today with my man. The, a day after the air, the engineer dropped. Shout out to HB, the engineer. We just knocked nigga, that joint out. Yeah, my nigga HB, man. Yeah, so today we got a special guest with us. What's your name, sir? Lil Zay, Lil Zay, man. Lil Zay. But, but it's real hot, Lil Zay, but you already know, man. Okay. Everybody know me for the Lil Zay, Lil Zay. Okay. Like, right before the beats and that's shit. That's your ad lib. Nah, that's, that's a signature. Not. It's that's like, when the beat come, I'll be like, Lil Zay, Lil Zay. And then I start rhyming and okay, shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> be cranking. What's up, fool? What's going on? What's your name? Lil' Cam Bands. Lil' Lil Cam, it don't matter either or however y'all want to say it. Nah, you got to side the bands, cause you you got the bands, fool. You you, you, you the swag. Man, so, we sitting here today, and I'm I'm reaching out to Lil' Zay. We in here with HB, so I was like, man, I seen his music, he crank. Let me see what he getting into today. So, we pulled up on Lil' Zay. How, how you feeling today? I'm feeling good, man. I just... Working on this mixtape for real, you know, yeah. just out here grinding for real, for real. Just finished the joint. Era the engineer with my man HB had me on that joint. Yeah. It was me, 3 0, and HB, man. Shout that out 3 0 Black. Shout out HB the engineer, man. The track yeah. was good as shit, man. Man, shout out 3 0, man. Did you see my man 3 0 real loud? Moved away, moved to LA, and like started a whole new lifestyle. <laughs> You see him out there, he had the games every night, all that, man. Shout out to 3 come on soon, man. Come knock out an interview with Taco. Um, what was I going to say, though? You said you're working on your mixtape. How many mixtapes do you have completed so far? Uh, I got like four. Yeah. I got like four. And then like, this is about to be the fifth one. It's about to be the fifth jump. Yeah. It's called The Last Rebel. Like, I basically did True Rebel because, I don't know, man, I was just, I'm like, yeah. I, I like True Religion at that time, yeah. a lot, a lot. So I had, like, the, I call it True True Rebel, man, because, like, back in the days, man, like, when I was growing up and shit, I was just, like, reckless and shit. I was yeah. just doing anything for real, for real. So yeah. I was like, man, I'm going to call this motherfucker True Rebel, man, because I was acting like a motherfucking rebel and shit. So, yeah. Is that before or after you met Lil' Cam? That was before I met my man. No, 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 no. So, nah, that, that was, yeah, that was after. Yeah, that yeah, was after. So, so like, what mixtape did y'all y'all met at a certain mixtape? Uh, actually, actually yeah, before, before I really yeah. dropped the mixtape, it was before the music. It was like so yeah, yeah, before the music. Nah, it was like well, like before the music, cause I really didn't really start taking rap serious till like 2015. Yeah, like middle 2015 for real. For real. And what what was that thing that like made you wake up and was like yeah? I because got like I don't know, it's like I realized I, I like I kept on with my writing and shit, mm -hmm. and it like. I saw myself evolve, and niggas was like fucking with the shit. So I was yeah. like, yeah, I'm just serious that. with that shit. You rap? Yeah, I mean, I just started rapping like a couple months ago. So you know, doing something slight. I got you know, doing little decent numbers or whatever. Yeah. You know, something slight. Yeah. It's you know, cause of this nigga. Bro, yeah. bro, nah, cause of you, much, nigga. You just trying, nigga. He pretty much influenced me, you know, yeah. like doing this uh, yeah. rap shit type shit. So I'm just trying to see, you know, where it's going so yeah. far. Yeah, it's good that. so far. It's good. So far. I respect that. Um, let's see. What would you say is your favorite tape that you did so far? Shit. Now, which one is oh. your, your the best? Which one is your favorite? And then we can talk about which one is the best. Which one? I like, uh, like, Re Rebellious, the one that yeah. dropped, like, probably seven, eight months ago. Yeah. But the best one that did the most numbers was the one I dropped a couple months before that, before the Fame 2, hosted by my man DJ Honest. Yeah. Why you think? Why you think the numbers jump in different I, places? Nah, I think it was the most numbers was uh, before the fame too. Mm -hmm. That's what was because I dropped a single before that called Bars That Help Four, and that's yeah. what like took off for for. I trended on Twitter off that shit. Yeah. Like I brought, I was trending on Twitter yeah. and shit. I was like, I'm I looked trending. on the job. I was like, I'm number eight, bro. I'm trending on that job. Yeah. Like nah, and the niggas was like, yeah. That's sweet. So is that like one of the parts that? Like led up to that shit. Yeah, I, nah, I, actually it was a song called Steph Curry that really led up to it. Like mm -hmm. I was just playing for for until I dropped a single called Steph Curry. Yeah. But I pre-recorded it before the Warriors actually won. Yeah. Won that little championship. Yeah. So I dropped that shit as soon as they won. And it did numbers. Man, that shit got like twenty k downloads and shit. Yeah, it got like twenty k downloads and that shit got like a hundred k streams. That was the second yeah. single I ever dropped so, out of my my life. I seen that joint. Did you drop it on SoundCloud? Nah, I, yeah, it's on SoundCloud. I yeah, them, really. I was yeah. Saying, that's definitely why I seen it. Cause like, I don't never really be on SoundCloud like that. Like, I got a couple of people who I know rapping, so they they putting the music out on SoundCloud. 
but like when I first got on SoundCloud, I seen that joint, and I'm pretty sure I'm like, like eighty percent sure that was your joint, and that yeah. joint was crazy. Like I'm telling niggas now, right now, man, I was the first nigga. I don't care what nobody said. I was the first nigga with a Steph Curry song yeah. was because basically. I pre-recorded it before they yeah. won. Nobody cared about Steph Curry and all yeah. that. The only reason why I cared about Steph Curry because he was the underdog for yeah. real. Who's going up against LeBron and all that? Yeah. I was like, hey man, who this little nigga? He can yeah. ball out. So I pre-recorded the joint, and it just happened to win. And I just dropped that joint ASAP, and that joint did numbers, man. That's great. Um, what was I gonna say? So I know you you work with a lot of artists in the DMV, probably. Like just like just like HB, just like three O, like you one of those people who work with a lot of odds and I like that. Because like like let me see, like I fuck with niggas, like I'm not no like a nigga that's not gonna fuck with niggas. Like if I see you doing your thing, man, you quanking, yeah. so I'm gonna fuck with you, you know, yeah. I'm like, man, let's cook up a song. Even if you don't even like have a buzz like that and I see like a lot of potential, I'm gonna yeah. fuck with you. Yeah. It's like a lot of rock, a lot of rock. They cool and shit for yeah. real, like, I fuck with a few of them for real, bro. I was gonna say. Like on some cool, like good man shit, I'm yeah. like, bro, I fuck with them. Yeah. You not one of them people who just like, yeah, I did a feature with him, yeah, that's my man. Nah, I got, bro, like, like I could do a song with a nigga. That's not gonna be my man type yeah. shit. Like, I'm just like, nigga, we just did a song, yeah. nigga. Like, it's not like, <laughs> what's good, bro? Yeah. It's not no shit like that. I respect that, I respect that. Like, niggas be, like, niggas be thinking, like, once you do a song with a nigga, man, that's my brother, man. That's yeah. my motherfucking cousin, man, right now. You don't go like who that. is your favorite person that you work with? Like, who is your favorite person? One based off energy, and then your second favorite person of yes, this verse crank. Man, I got like the three main niggas like I really fuck with for yeah. bro. Like, it's actually full. Like my man, little combat. He he bring the swag <laughs> shit to yeah. the table, man. He be bringing the swag. He be make, he the he the reason why I like I basically like switch up my flow because yeah. I I was told by a few people my flow was constantly. Fast as shit for real, for niggas yeah. be like, man, slow that shit down, nigga. Yeah. So it's like, man, you know, I had to calm down, you know, I got like, slow this shit down. Yeah, I mean, but, he be rapping like, you know, like, 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 like it's life and danger or yeah. something. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Trying to knock the verses out. Nah, be sweet though. Nah, but it's like, other than my man, little Kanban's, man, you know, my man. Bro, I, I, I like going bar for bar with Will, bro. Yeah. It'd be fun as shit. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun as shit. Y'all think that y'all, like, that nigga got balls like shit. I ain't gonna yeah. hold you that. Like, I fuck with Lizzo too. I like doing songs with Lizzo because it's just versatile as fuck. Yeah. But, and then the whole killer's Lizzo got balls though. That's yeah. the whole killer. Lizzo. Niggas don't, niggas not even, yeah. that nigga be spelling like yeah. shit. That nigga got balls low key. But he just be trying to appeal. He, you know, he doing what's bro I'm going to take off. Yeah. Like, and then my nigga Rolly, he be turned in the yeah. shit. That nigga be turned to shit. He be like, Jay Rolly, yo, yeah. 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 Man, Lizzo, Lizzo crank. I like, I like Lizzo music mainly because like, I heard him on Thrax, he was cranking, and then like a couple years after, after Thrax the movie, he dropped um like, hmm, remember, remember oh, yeah. he was over oh, that? Yeah. He dropped something that sounded like that. I mean, it was to that beat. He did freestyle on that. But he cranked to that joint yeah, he so did, much, though. like. The week, the first week yeah, that joint, that joint. Oh my god, the first week that joint dropped, I'm cranking to that joint every day on the way to school yeah. all the time. I'm like, hmm, I'm trying to rock to this day. Like, <laughs> I, I respect that, and I think that's good that like people like people rappers can work with people versatile like that. Yeah. Are you? Would you say you versatile like Lizzo, or that's like? Nah, I mean, see, I ain't, I don't be singing. Yeah. So it's like I can't sing. Yeah. That nigga like the like I actually yeah. sing. Yeah. So if I sing, bro, I need the motherfucking auto tune yeah. and shit. <laughs> you know, I, I ain't for that little, like, yeah, yeah. man, I'm gonna leave that mm, Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a Chris Lil Brown nigga. nigga sing. Nah, you know, I mean, you know, if a girl want me to sing, I had to do a little something, something for it. Like, Fuck no. Like, like, you turn out good, but like yeah. you singing in the shower. <laughs> nah, look, man, if I'm singing in the shower, you know, I'm gonna just keep that to myself. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say, though? Um, who is the, the last person? You said Will, Cam. Bankroll and Lizzo and Lizzo, oh, yeah, Lizzo, 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 Crank. All right, They're like the main people are like, like fuck with fuck with like yeah. this, good folks, good man type shit. What's the real shit? I can't forget my man. Like he just like I like gonna bop and bop my man Easy, Easy yeah. Babe. That's what you go by and shit. Mm -hmm. I fuck with him. That's my good man. Yeah. Like if it wasn't for like he he the one like like show me the ropes of the job. Like like yeah. I was like I'm more like. He was t he showing me the ropes and shit. They like bring me around certain motherfuckers for real. It wasn't for that nigga. I probably want me a lot. Like, yeah. Be where I'm at for real, for real. Like, he, he's a big part for real, for real, too. And he cracked like shit. I like going ball, ball with him. Like, yeah. matter of fact, it was like, 
like the full fifth single I ever dropped. It was like the dope house joint by yeah. Hooter, the Chinks joint. I think that's the nigga who made the beat. Who that's rocked the originally right. ranking up the joint. But basically, that joint did not. was like, shit, yeah. I didn't think that motherfucker hit like six, eight K. I was yeah. like, damn. Like, I'm not talking about the strings was like 80,000 strings, but the other joint was like 8,000. Like, some shit like that. Now, I see you've been working hard up in these past four tapes. What do you think on this fifth tape is going to stand out to make people be like, damn, this joint? Not everything, because it's not like, to be honest, the other tapes, I was rushing this shit. Like, yeah. I wasn't really sitting down working and writing, and mm -hmm. it's like, my wordplay got better. What would you say? Like you, you said you got four tapes out already, right? Yeah. And you about to, you about to drop the fifth joint. Yeah. What makes the fifth joint different from the other? Because ones? like the other joints, I was just like, you know, I was still like still doing it, but it wasn't yeah. like I was putting everything into that shit. Yeah. Like everything into this shit is like, it's like sound like a motherfucker. Oh my yeah. god, oh, hold you. I got, I got my man Gio singing on the joint. Yeah, yeah. I got like a singing track, man. I got Wait, some good features on. GLs. Oh, GLs, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, and you said that what the wordplay is different on there. Yeah, the wordplay. I don't know. It's just like the more that I started rapping, the more I motherfucking words came yeah. into my head and shit. How you think? How you think that worked? Like, just words came into your head, or you exposed the different stuff, or you be reading? I don't. I don't. Nah, I don't read it. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. That shit. Nah, I mean, if it's like like a rap, some music and shit, I got out of that shit. Yeah. But I don't read for real. For yeah. Real. I didn't fuck that shit in school. Yeah. Fuck no. What was I gonna say though? Um, <clears throat> this project, we know this joint about to be cool. Let's say your six mixtape or even like an a album. Fifth joint. No, no, I'm saying no. you had a six joint. Oh uh, yeah. What, what, who would be an artist that you would work with for the whole tape? Like you got a whole <laughs> tape you could spend with anybody. <laughs> like they already know that answer. Like no funnies, like my favorite rapper right now. Like you can even tell who who would I work with out of everybody. G Herbo. Man, that right now, my nigga yeah. G Herbo. Whoa, that nigga crank like crank. shit. You like the last part? I don't know what the last part is called. Yeah, you talking about uh the, the, the joint the, for, for the fans joint? Yeah. Now that was actually no 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 no. It was actually the uh motherfucking. It's the joint with the the Black Panther on the front. No, nah, that's and not his last tape. You, this is, nah, that's actually for my fans. That was actually like a, basically what he did was it was a. Mixtape, so he felt like this. If you ain't get it on the first time, yeah. the first day it's out, you not a real fan. So after so that, he he, he charged. No, he charged niggas for it. Oh, yeah, 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 that's a smart nigga right yeah. there. So but nah, he that. he he did a, a welcome to no phase on line one point five, some shit mm. like that. That's a that's a tape. Yeah, it's like an EP. Do you get ready for welcome to phase on line two, some shit like that? How would you feel? Like, what would that be like? What do you think that would be Man, like? That would be something crazy for real, for real. Because I already fuck with one of his producers right now. Yeah. That's my one of the producers that he fuck with. That's one of my good producers, too. Yeah. Like, outside of Cash Money AP, yeah. King Lee Boy, my man Espo. Espo yeah. is one of Ray Schrummer's main producers. Mm. So I fuck with the nigga Espo. Then Ace Lex is famous. That's producer. That's my good man, too. Yeah. But DJ L, niggas know DJ L. Yeah. He did the motherfucking kill shit yeah. with him and Baby. And then he did the motherfucking right show flow. He did like, all that shit. How did you get plugged in with all these people like that? I, I mean, for real, for real, I, I owe it all to the nigga Cash Money AP. Yeah. I knew that nigga, like, since. Motherfucking. Like, like y'all linked up? Nah, that nigga from Guadalupe. So uh, you never met him? <laughs> nah, I never met that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I be on FaceTime with that nigga and everything. Yeah. But he's like my motherfucking friend. It's like motherfucking. Yeah. Like if I was like drive to that. I don't think you could drive to that yeah. nigga. Nah, you can't yeah. drive to that yeah, shit. Nah, nah, Fuck no. Nah, nah. I gotta fly to that nigga. So, that nigga on the motherfucking island. Yeah. That's how good mine though. You said you met him through Facebook? No, Facebook, Twitter, one of them junks. Yeah. And it's like, we was rapping for a minute. Because he, he wasn't popping like that either. Mm -hmm. And you know, it was like a mutual thing. So basically, I helped him get placements yeah. by just hitting up people. I yeah. wasn't, you no, know, I wasn't shit. Yeah. I wasn't rapping and shit yeah. back then. Yeah. But I was hitting up like motherfuckers in Chicago and shit. And basically, that's what got him rolling. Now the nigga got a song with design and all that shit. That's my motherfucking brother, man. Yeah. man shout out Cash Money AP, man. Yeah. That's my motherfucking brother. Man, make sure you come to the United States one day. Knock out an interview with Taco, man. He, he gonna be here in July. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, that nigga gonna be here in July. Okay. That nigga, the whole killers, that nigga got some good English, though. Yeah. And he dropped like the same, too. Yeah. And he, he a producer, so, like, 
I'm, I'm about to do a song with a nigga, yeah. little kid, man. I'm about to, man, get motherfucking design on that yeah. shit. Get Juicy J. That's how I be. And um, Cash Money, if you're watching this, give me a beat. Yeah. I need that. That way. Um, that what way. What I'm say, though? What I'm gonna say? All right. So, we know you, you got some good crank. Who is the people that you mess with, though? Like, I know. As far as rap? You talking about, like, nah, just what? people, people, like, as far as music. It don't gotta be rap. You talking about, like, locally or overall? You could do you could do one list of overall and one right, list of local. So Wayne is number one. Because it's like people forget that Wayne accomplished so much shit. Yeah. And he the longevity he has was long as shit. Yeah. And he put out endless shit. He was working his ass off since he was motherfucking like 14 and 13. Yeah. He was slaving for that nigga yeah. Birdman. He was like one of Birdman's slaves yeah. down the motherfucking dungeon. Nigga was in the lagoon. Yeah. That nigga was what about the what's the rest of the list for overall? For overall shit, um we got Wayne. We got Wayne, Drake, like Drake, man, you gotta get that nigga in respect. Man. Look yeah. what he's doing right now. Yeah. He's running shit right now. Yeah, yeah. I no, we got you got you have to give props to Eminem. I'm not yeah. Eminem is the best lyricist yeah, yeah, yeah. out in the world. Nobody's better than that nigga lyricist in the world. That. And then Kendrick. Fuck with Kendrick. You don't think you don't think that Eminem and Kendrick can go bar for bar? Fuck no. Eminem will rip his ass up. You think so? Fuck yeah. Because we never um <laughs> nah. we never really seen like a battle I mean, a battle with Kendrick. But it's like you know that the A Mile movie, yeah. Eminem wrote their verses and shit. I heard that he wrote their verses, but he was freestyling all like, his shit. Mm. He freestyled all of his shit. Bro, Eminem's a dog, bro. Me to go lyric Eminem will crush me lyrically. I think if you put Kendrick Lamar no. in that platform to make him think like that, nah, it would be equal. Ass, I don't, th I don't think gonna, beat him. His ass gonna be great. I mean, I don't know, like, cause I like I like Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like it's like a different era or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like basically, I don't know. It's kind of hard to, you know, cause like, Full, him, he talk, right, like you know he talk more like you know stuff that he dealt with in yeah. his life or whatever. Kendrick he, he does too, like to a certain extent, yeah. but it's like it's a little bit different. So I don't know, but like. Ball for ball, I don't know, I gotta give it to Eminem. Just cause like he got so much history, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we go we all grew up listening to Eminem, everybody yeah. knows. We consider Eminem as a brother, that nigga black. Yeah. We consider yeah. him black. Some, some people do, some nah, people. Nah, he black. I ain't gonna say what I think. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say what I do. But, <laughs> but it's some people like like that's a conversation people had. I see that on Twitter all the time. But like, you can't see forget Big Sean. I don't think look. I'm talking I, about no, I'm just saying he he in that top. Oh he in top five. Okay. Yeah, he in that top. Not with them. 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 Cause Drake, Drake built himself to a platform where he's I'm talking about music. lyrically. I'm talking about lyrically. That's Big Sean's dope. I don't like, think Big Sean people, is Big Sean, like, like he do I, it's not that he don't, it's people don't acknowledge that. Like I think I think Big Sean definitely do. He got tough lyrics, but people don't acknowledge that. Man, I'm gonna hear that super duper lemonade, Big Sean. Did. Did. He said, "I hang that green up." Like I mean, it's big respect. So, yeah, man. he definitely get big respect. Yeah, he, I'm not saying that he don't crank, and I'm not saying that he don't got bars. But I don't think like for real, for real, Drake, Eminem, Kendrick. Who else you say? Drake, Eminem, Kendrick, Lil Wayne, and Lil Wayne. They got a platform for themselves where they already seen this legend. That Herbo, Herbo. I mean, I'm just saying those my. I don't know. Those my, I'm saying those my top yeah. five. Okay. Four, um, to be honest, like I'm not gonna say all that because I'm gonna get a lot of motherfucking yeah. slack. But I, yeah. how I feel her, like who he resembles, yeah. I'm gonna get motherfucking slack on that shit. And I don't yeah. feel like motherfucking coming up for that. Yeah. But yeah, that nigga dope for real, for real. I was like, yeah, that nigga crank like shit. Yeah. Like yeah. Um. To I be think, to be as young as he is, he's like like three years old. What about what about what about Lil Wayne? And Eminem, you don't think they go toe to toe? Cause uh, Wayne got a bar. Wayne got a motherfucking bar. He got some bars. of that shit. Like I be, I be listening to songs to this day. I be like, yeah. Damn, I never peeped that to yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. That nigga, Kevin, that nigga's a dope. J Cole got stuff like that too. BC, BC, BC. It's like I respect this. I job. I, he got bars like shit, but he make that soulful shit. For, for, you know, I respect his hustle and all that though. shit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but think, it's like I, I just can't sit and listen to that shit all day. Yeah, I respect him though. I respect him. I, I, I respect yeah. him and shit. I that nigga's lyrical as fuck, bro. He's dope as shit. I think it's it like on so like, like that's not my type of vibe yeah. for for. It depends on like what you what you, what you need prefer. To, yeah, yeah, what you need to feed your See, soul. Kendrick could turn up like the don't kill my vibe joint. Yeah. That was soulful, but, but it was he like, ain't made nothing like that. When the last time he made something like Don't Kill My Vibe? I'm just saying, though. He but still made something time. like that. Okay. But I feel like J. Cole, he's not in that mindset. Like, I'm watching an interview J. Cole. 
He talking about some. He got this platform right now off of a uh, Forest uh, Hills Drive. Yeah, Dreamville, right? No, no. He was just like he just got the platform based off of that tape. And he just like, he said he want to use that platform to spread the message as much as he can. And so I think that, like, that's a smart way to go about it. Like, he ain't even making nothing like he made on, um, what's that tape he made? Before, before Forest Hills Drive. It's like, it's a gold, it's like a gold little devil on it. I don't know, because I don't think if y'all watching, y'all know that tape that I'm talking about, the album that J. Cole All niggas gonna say is he went platinum with no features. I mean, it's not even that, like, I don't know. That like, who niggas already saying that? But he went platinum. He was like one of the first people from our generation to do that. He was like, he went platinum with no features. I mean, they be saying that shit all the time. He was like, yeah, that's good, that's good. As far as, like, I think from, like, 2010 to 2017, he was the first person to do that. Yeah. yeah. And I so, can definitely agree with that. And so yeah. everybody's like, yeah, you gotta respect him. You gotta respect him. Then other people was like, oh yeah, let me try to do a project. Like, I yeah. think Kevin Gates did, he did one project, one platinum with no features, but J. Cole did it first. And so nobody, yeah, so, yeah, so nobody, 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 gonna, gonna shit nobody gonna remember yeah. second place. Yeah. And so, I mean, no disrespect to Kevin Gates. Yeah, he Kevin crank Gates. too, man. Kevin Gates crank right, too. Phones, one for the plug, and one for the hoes. Hey, he yeah. got two phones, man. Ho, ho, real loud. We got two phones, though. Real loud. Second phone on the way. He just like, you know, he yeah, yeah, got two phones. Little like, slight, little yeah. slight. I just got man. one joint, and that's for the hoes. Talk, talk got two phones. Man, man. that's hoes, grind man. out here type stuff. But, um, what else? We about to wrap this up real quick. Get into the five random questions. Um, and see what these good men thinking. Like, y'all know me, I like to get into the random question. So, first random question for both of y'all. If you could have one company sponsor you with any clothes that you want for the rest of your life, like they hit you up, yeah, little Zay, we mess with the, we like the way you dress, we would like to send you a part of every collection that drop. What you wearing? Damn, for me, shit. Damn, it, it probably has to be, man. I like Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Big yeah. Gucci. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, Cause Gucci, they make you know a whole bunch of different yeah. stuff, and they just like and like they yeah. they always go with you know with yeah. the trends on yeah. stuff like that. So like, they always gonna have what's brand new, you know. What I'm I'm Second random question: What are the best flavored Doritos? Is it the red ones? Bro, it's the red joints. Is it the blue ones? It's the red joints. Or is it the purple ones? Ho oh, oh, ho! I might have to, might have to take that back. You got like just that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. The purple joints, like the purple. Nah, the purple. Yeah, the purple joints good, but they be making your breath smell bad. Man, what you making your breath hot as shit, man? I know a little joint. I don't even talk to me after that, boy. Bro, man, I'm got. I'm in my shit. I gotta let y'all know. Gotta let the viewers know. The purple bag is the worst bag. And I know people always. Oh no, nah, that's oh, blasphemy, bro. People, blasphemy, people always bro. no. The blue bag is better than the purple <laughs> bag. Me, bro. Fuck no, I'm not eating no cool ranch Doritos. I don't even like cool ranch. I don't even like ranch. ranch. I'm if you took if you took some cool ranch and dipped it in some Chipotle and eating it like a tortilla no, chip, no, it's no, not no, good. No, no, you would use you know the no, purple bag. Nigga, I or the bowl of Chipotle? Fuck, I'd rather use the purple bag than the motherfucking blue bag. I don't even like Chipotle. For real? Yeah, I don't even. Oh my God. Nah, 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 I respect that. I respect you don't that. Fuck right. You don't fuck with your brother? You don't fuck with your brother? I respect that. For real? Yeah, y'all like, it's, it's been some ass ever since they y'all like, had that dis- Yeah, like, that, yeah, I ain't that motherfucking yeah, 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 it would, I'm not gonna say it went down like anybody who tell you who knew me back when Chipotle first was popping. I didn't even eat Chipotle off mm. like of like three years because I'm like I'm not about to pay ten dollars for no salad. Yeah, like that's how I really man. felt. Ten dollars. He said like, for a salad. <laughs> well, that's bro. what it was to me. So I was like nah. I'm not about to I'm not about to pay ten for I mean, a salad. You don't get no rice in your salad. You don't get no man, salad. Man, yeah, man, go to yes, go, go to go to Cobb. Go to Chop. They be they be throwing anything in there. You can get whatever you want in your salad. So you you can set a Chipotle salad food. I mean, not now, yeah. not now, because I, I don't like. So I don't food. even be getting lettuce in my bowl. Look, right, I get, I get a tortilla, brown rice, doubles, double chicken. That's still a salad, bro. No, nah, it's not. I, I don't know. get lettuce. I don't get lettuce. It's nah, like yeah, a tortilla to me. Okay. It's like because I mess with tortillas. Like any Spanish people who know me, they know taco. Taco want a quesadilla all the time. All right. So anything I can get close to a quesadilla or like. That's my name, Taco. It's like, nah, that's not, my name, <laughs> that's not my name, Taco. But, like, yeah, people will tell you, Taco, Taco always eating the quesadillas, though. 
Like, y'all listen to Hood Rich Pablo Juan, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody know I fuck with Pablo. Yeah. Everybody know I fuck with Pablo. <laughs> we know. So, if, like, we know Pablo be talking about designer drugs. If you could have a designer drug, which one would it be? Man, I ain't even gonna hold you for real, for real, man. I don't need nope. I don't need, you know, I don't even fuck with drugs like that. Like yeah. I just be on some, you know, chill shit. Yeah. For real. Like I don't really, you know, like yeah. you know, I smoke like yeah. little little something. But, like yeah. I don't even, you know, yeah, fuck with like, like, you know, I respect. Yeah. I don't even. I'm gonna go with. I don't smoke. Yeah. I don't fuck with real fuck. Yeah. I don't fuck with real fuck. Yeah. I do. I do pop pills, man. For I'm real. Nuts, what's your What's your favorite perks, Zions? Man, What's the difference for the people? For real, for real, them Zans fuck you up, man. Them Zans, they like, they, what, they wish your life away for real, What about real. tabs? You fuck with nah, tabs? Nah, nah. See, like, the Zans, they just make you wish your life away for real, for real. Like, you could take one, you just be sleeping all day. You can mess out on some money, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Like, you can mess out on some money or some shit that day. See, the perks, man, they just... Man, you feel good, man. Yeah. When you when you go to sleep, man, you feel you, that sleep shit. Man, you feel good and shit. What about what about Molly? Nah, see, I ain't with that wild <laughs> shit. Um, I the probably the on the wildest shit. Probably me and my man ever done. Probably like that tongue shit. Tabs. The ass and shit. That's what it's, that's you know? called tabs. Oh, that's what that shit. Like, that's you don't need no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Bro, that was funny as shit, son. It was me, my man Dom. My man T Melly and some other uh, like man, my man Mikey G. Yeah. And so I think it was some bitches in that time, bro. But everybody was in that joint. We, we took them just around motherfucking like nine o'clock. Like yeah. Texas nigga the yeah. next morning. Fool. Yeah, niggas. Nigga, nigga, nigga hit my phone talking about some bro. I was tripping, bro. Right. <laughs> was niggas was, bro. Like, niggas was trying to jump this out. Talk, like bro. the house was like big as shit too. Trying so, to like, jump out the window. Yeah, yeah, niggas was trying. Niggas was thinking it was birds and bro, some wild nigga, shit, fool. This nigga called my phone, bro. I'm in the bed. It's like off some two o'clock type yeah. shit. Like I just, you know, I'm in the house. I just came back from yeah. the move type shit. Nigga called me. Niggas tripping, bro. They trying to jump off the roof. I'm like, fuck it, what? Tripping, they thought yeah, they could fly like, and shit. It was lunching. And then, lunching. nah, 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 nah. And then it was like some some bitches was in that joint. And they was they was asking. They said, cause they was all the shit too. They said, are y'all some young horny niggas? I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shawty, no. It was um, some funny shit. Let's see. Hey, but I ain't gonna hold you. That shit die. But it fuck with your brain for make you yeah. hallucinate. I won't do that shit no more. Mm-hmm. That, that shit a no go for me. Don't do drugs. Don't do no acid. That Four shit will fuck you drug. up. Three. Yeah. Full random question: What is better, Popeyes or carry out? I can't even look at y'all. Oh, no, nah, you can't even. You can't, can't even give me that, that type of question. Bro. That's that's carry hard. out. That's disrespectful. That's carry true. out. That's carry true. out is better than Popeyes. Yes. I say so. Yeah. I, if I if I had to, if I had to eat one like for the rest of my life, bro, I, bro, I would rather food. have carry out. You got more variety. Pop, yeah, you got, you more, got more variety. variety. Man, I can get a nice half and half, man. You're some right. fried you're rice, right, right. some See, wings, I'm not man. About that. Yeah, I would, man. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm not I'm trying to eat no motherfucking chicken, chicken and oh, rice yeah, and mashed yeah. potatoes all <laughs> fucking day, nigga. I'm not no mashed potato ass nigga. No, no, chill out. Oh, what we chill out? The Popeyes mashed potatoes. But you want to eat that shit all day every day? You a biscuit? You can't get a biscuit that. But but sometimes that biscuit be hard as shit. You know, be nah, 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 Throw that joint back at them. It don't even Tell matter them. where you get it from. They give you a hard biscuit. Nah, don't nah. Take it. Don't KFC, don't KFC don't got people. signature rock. So, look, look, look. Donut, uh, <laughs> not even donut biscuits. So, <laughs> hey, you, <laughs> you heard, but, but, but at Popeye's, but they be making the fried rocks and shit. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, I, know I, know, I know the carry out is closer to that. I know it's, this happened. Hey, look, I got faith in my carry This happened. Hey, hey, this happened. You know where it's. Hey, 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 Kill. I got faith in I believe, my carry out. I believe in God. Any weapon formed against Taco shall not <laughs> prosper. <laughs> You funny as shit. But look, last random question and then we about to get out of here, man. Um, Lil Zay, Lil Cam, how is the females treating y'all? Man, they all treat me good. Well, they all. Yeah. Not just she. Nah, she 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 ain't fucking with me like that. Oh, she she breaking my heart. Respect. She know what she is. She breaking my heart. Like it's not like fucked up. But respect. you know it don't matter because like I'm Lil Zay for real, for real. Yeah. So I got giants for real, for real. Yeah. But it's like. So look, if you had if you had a choice, this one this one for the ladies. I ain't never gonna forget about y'all. 
If you had a choice, would you settle down with her or are you going to keep the legs? You gonna keep the legs? <laughs> no, no. Hey, no, legs, he has to be a hot ass legs, president. Legs, you know, they cool. I respect the legs, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a, you know, a nice little dude. I like, yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I like, you know, going out yeah. and doing, you know, with yeah, the ladies like, like that. and stuff like that. But like, see, that every like, lady not worth taking out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, fuck that's, that's, the part, that's the point. So, look, 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 look. So, like, yeah, you so, so, would you take six girls to McDonald's? Or, uh, would you take ten girls to McDonald's? Or one girl to motherfucking, uh, 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 Ruth Chris? It depends on where I want to go <laughs> and it, depend, it depends on if that was a good party. Because, like, it'd be wild, bro. It'd be like, bitches be asking me, like, yeah. taking the roof. Hold right, on, hold on, hold on, look. If you taking a joint you just met, but you trying to bag her, right? Where are you taking her? Are you taking her to, like, Sonic? Uh, you taking her to a restaurant? <laughs> Shit, she going to the movies. You better go see a little movie real quick. <laughs> nah, so, nah. I mean, she never, she like, yeah, yeah, whatever nah, she, 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 she did. Nah, she, she, what if she, 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 she been complicated? Like, and she like, nah, you pick, you pick. I mean, for for me, movies. What you, what you gonna say? Movies, if anything. For me, the perfect date probably, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, like, I'm a little romantic type. Yeah. Of <laughs> he said, I'm a little romantic type. My man, my, yeah. my man, keep sweat ass nigga. Nah, hold, chill out, chill out. <laughs> but nah, hold, hold that down. But nah, like, I don't know, like, I probably, you know what I'm saying? Just, you can just chill. Like, yeah. I, I like, you know, talking to people, you know what I'm saying? You gonna let her pull up at your house? Yeah, first yeah. First time, first time you ever meet. Fuck no. I mean, yeah, she could, yeah. What? She pulling up on me, yeah. Oh, so you gonna let her stay? Why you saying no? Bro, she might still sound fool. <laughs> oh, nah, he be fucking with the janky, janky female. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. nah, but yeah, just like I like, you know what I'm saying, talking. I respect you know, that. You know yeah. I feel like I feel like you know what I can't even say too much because you know, got the girls watching the interviews. I don't want them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah man, you yeah, saying yeah. hot? We been hot on that. Taco, Taco, Taco just, TV gonna hold that down. I'm just, yeah, I'm like, I'm just trying to see what y'all thinking. You getting like bread. blood, man? You getting like blood? <laughs> nah, no way, no way. <laughs> like blood, you better get me bagged up. I ain't gonna say. I ain't you gonna, gonna say? You gonna ask me what I'd rather settle down with? That particular joint and the other joint. It's like I love you all. Let's just say that. Oh, look. Well, yeah, we might have to cut this part. Tighten up. Tighten up. I'm just going after this. Look, look, look. You said that about me. <laughs> That's it from now, man. Uh, it's Taco from Taco Talks TV. Wrapping up a dope interview. Make sure you like, subscribe. Sweet dreams and designer jeans. See you around like a donut. Right, make sure you subscribe. It's your boy. Jose Lozai. Man, little can bass.